Alright, go ahead, let them know what you will play. Alright, uh, today I'll be playing Punta del Canada Life by Joaquin Rodrigo, um, which is a lovely piece by Rodrigo. <laughs>
Um, a few things on, 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 on the technical side. Something about your left hand. Uh, the palm of your hand, left hand is sitting too far down. Okay. And resulting in, in, in uh, your left hand fingers, they need to extend in order to press the strings. And that requires much more strength. Mm -hmm. So that also influences a little bit the, the, the agility. Lots of good things in the right hand. So I, I think basically, well, some things perhaps to refinger about the tremolo, I think, but mainly it's a little bit on, on, on the musical side. Um, what I'm feeling here in the, in, in the beginning is you're very much re uh, respectful of the exact uh, rhythm as, as it's written. Which, in one in one way, it's good. I don't like to have sort sort of like arbitrary f freedom, but on the other hand, I would like certain motives, certain things to move uh, pr very often forward a little bit more to give it a little bit more of of of, of, of that freedom, and especially when you have a you know a gesture like this that repeats so often, mm -hmm. right? So that it's not every time rhythmically exactly the same. I mean, I wanted the rhythm, but it's with a little bit of of a gesture that it can move a little bit forward that you can take time on one note. So that it has a more of a longer line shape rather than it's this and it's this and it's that. You know, if, if you give it the exactly the same interpretation then, then it sort of sounds like that. Okay? Let's start once again from, from the top please. play this and you do that vibrato even a little bit more the first string because you're playing it soft right yeah but I still want yeah then this comes out rather than this yeah. comes out okay do this for me look Put the fingers on your strings like this, on your strings. Uh, this is just a reference. I mean, I need to touch you so you can feel what, what I do. You feel this? Yeah. So everything everything else is light. So there's just a little bit more strength in this one. Yeah. yeah. And if possible at all, together. Softer, softer. Otherwise, it feels a little bit sort oh. of stressed. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. The left hand. Lift up the thumb. Wait, that's it. Again. So that's it. Let's try to play this a little bit louder because it's the same thing but a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's and make it now. Now, what 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 would this? What is this music? What what is this motive? What do you think? Well, it's a it's a call. It's a call. Yeah. What call? Are you like um? Well, 
I've always pictured the Spanish countryside in this uh -huh. piece. So, to me, this is this is um, very much like Moorish. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I I picture Granada and you know. Yeah. You know, seven eight centuries ago, you know. So make that. Make it so, sort of like exotic sounding. Mm -hmm. Go into, into this one with a little more passion. Yeah. Right? You can make it, yeah, you can make, yeah, make it a little more flavorful. Once again, there. Fingers, bend your fingers, don't make them straight. And now, let me show you something. What I'm asking you. Immerse yourself in the feeling of that call, as you're as you saying. There's a lot of mysticism in it, right? So make it, make it in these notes. Even if you are not doing anything after that, there's uh, tension through that note. Mm -hmm. Together, and. I feel the gap between this motive and then again. There. Yeah. So it's t t it feels a little bit like that. Not because you play like that, because physically it's simply <coughs> like that. Maybe I could play the A before the rest of the. As I said, here move along through through these modes. Da 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 So play me from there. Okay. Feel the going forward. example as you're playing these chords I don't feel a story I don't feel anything okay. happening there I just feel you play the chords but I don't feel you living through them so as you play this again you have a beautiful 
beautiful tone, you know, nice colors, everything is working. But if you are not somewhere else, well, that, that's where we will stay, right in this classroom. I think we I'm have a little to little be concerned with the notes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Which I shouldn't be. Okay. Go on. Okay. Give me this a little bit more gracious. Give a little bit more grace to it. Yeah. Okay, a little bit more now crescendo. This not not on the same dynamic level. You have exact yeah. same thing. Sequence is going up once okay. again. Okay, so I was playing, emphasizing here a little bit the bass. Hmm? Yeah. So play me that as a one line going all the way here. Second time, it's it's here, so let's yeah. say mezzo forte, okay? That's a piano here. Mm -hmm. <coughs> forte, make big crescendo. And okay. Can you play that a little bit, little bit uh, louder? How do you play it? Because I want this crescendo to go <coughs> here. Sorry. sort of like tremolo there. The first two notes as you were playing, but after thumb. Oh, that's so much better. Yeah, it's easier, right? Eh? But you don't do it with the... Yeah, same, you can do it. Which is, which is easy, but this with one two combining this gets a little bit confusing. Yeah, no, I, I probably practiced those four more than the rest of the page. <laughs> well, okay, then let's let's see. For example, one at a time. Just play me this. Uh, so that yeah. yeah, but I'm just yeah, I'm so concerned. No, d d don't be concerned about that. Just stay with what I'm asking you. Oh, just those just two. Yeah. Okay. Do it again, left hand, close by. Now play with, play with this. Again. That shouldn't be that difficult. Yeah. With I and P. your mouth opens, which means that it's difficult creating some unconscious uh, uh, physical reaction. It's difficult, huh? So yeah. I don't want that to be difficult. Play with this. Again. It has to be like if you're saying a word. Da 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 or si do la, whatever. Right? Okay. 
much easier. Th then the same thing. It just needs that little adjustment here in the right hand. My A finger still feels so, um, like so cramped. Yeah, that way. mine too, because we never use it, but you will be able to do it. Requires a little bit of a practicing, but you'll get it. Then let's go on. Same thing. Yeah. So in constant, so so this will make it easier. Yeah. Using P A I M. Right? Yeah. Inserting one of those P A M I, and then again you can do P M. Yes. Yeah. Fine. Yes. to the uh, ornament. So practice that, see if that will help as well by you know making the shift yeah. on a second beat. Okay, and so on and so on. Let me just check a little bit the, the, uh, some things about the tremolo. Can you play me that? You're playing yeah. on a second string here? Yeah, well, I, I did a lesson with, I don't know if you know, Jerome Ducharme recently, mm -hmm. and he recommended putting it all on the, well, not using the open E for the first phrase. Mm -hmm. uh, it's melodically more, it's clearer mm -hmm. melodically. It is harder for sure for, the, mm -hmm. for both hands. Well, my question is always the, the, the following. We can have a certain idea. Uh, how well we can execute it will, will give a certain result. And then you can have another idea, how well you can execute that idea, then compare the two. Mm -hmm. I agree in terms of. have that um, uh, color you're playing yeah and you were you used to play I used to do um, I would say whatever makes you play it more musically. Because you can be playing this and no feel, not feeling comfortable. Then to me it's like, what's the point? Yeah, that's you true. Know? Yeah, so I don't feel very comfortable. <laughs> to me, you know, I mean, to me, I, I don't feel comfortable with second string. Yeah. Tremor on second string, I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, if I can play, you know, how does it go? on the first string much easier for me so for this what did you used to do I uh, used to do but 
now, now you're also playing. You're also playing on on a third string, the treble. So you're playing on the first, second, and third, right? You are playing yes. this piece there. Yeah. I mean, I, I, yeah, I guess I could. Here, I'll toss, I'll toss another idea to you. Keep as many as as much as you can on one string. Not only that, try to avoid all four notes on the same string. This. Oh, I see what you mean. It, yeah, it, yeah. it always has a little glitch between the thumb and the A. Yeah. So I will do this. I'm telling you one idea. He gave you one idea. You have to make, make, like you know, make whatever works for you. Right. Huh? So it's not like you know anybody's absolutely uh, fine. We all find uh, solutions for ourselves. So I would think about it a little bit to refinger it in a way that I would get this rather than maybe on the first one finally. Here definitely. Yeah. And once you get this, listen, if you do this versus hear that? Yeah. Why is that? You know, there's a very simple physical explanation to it. Well, with the when you have them on two different strings, the notes can resonate. Longer. They overlap. Yes, yeah. exactly that. The first note overlaps the rest of it and makes it more legato. Yeah. It's much more, mu much better sounding this. Yeah. Then. Yeah. It's very more articulated, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I do something like that, and we don't have much time. Much time about that. Just this. Yeah. This is not guitarist. The is slurs? <laughs> no, I mean the whole... The way it's written. Yeah, I know. Yeah. 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 Just go for that. You know? Oh, yeah. I, I would go. It's not that I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No one's going to crucify me for changing the order. I'm not going to get punished for changing the order. First of, of all, nobody's going to crucify you, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to kill you or something. They might come up to you and tell you, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. to which you can say, well. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like play. <laughs> you can say, oh, no, Dennis doesn't think that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, no, I really think it's this. I mean, that's much more, because what is it? Yeah. It's, it's like just the scale. It's a, it's a, it's a right? flourish, yeah. Yeah. What? Some, something like that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Rodrigo demands a lot from us, but yeah. you know, simplify the things. Yeah. Well, just for the sake of music. All right? He didn't really have to perform any of this music. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Good. Thank you. Thank you.